Alright. Okay, first of all, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming over to my YouTube. I'm trying to get good with this and I'm trying to be on it, but it's hard to fit in everything. Um, this video is basically just a kind of mad recap of little clips and like, footage that I've been up to over the last three, four months. Um, my videos will get a bit more focused and shoot focused. Favourite film of them, Portra 400. Portra 800, maybe? If you could only have one pair of shoes, what would they be? I mean, I'm not really sure if I have a favourite shoe exactly, but uh, if I had to go for one, it would be the all-white Nike Air Force One. Jeez. How many rolls of film do you take per shoot with a model, or does it differ every time? Um, if I'm shooting, say, something like boys, or just a random portrait, I will shoot two to three rolls. I mean, I like to shoot two, but usually three is my like safety bracket, so that's like 30 pictures. On a bigger shoot, it can be anything from like 15 to 25 rolls, easily. Um, but yeah, on something like personal or on my own budget, I like three rolls. Got a really chill day today, so I'm going to shoot some boys. Let's do this. It's the one. How do you get people to be so relaxed on your shoots? Um, I think just through, I don't know, just like talking to people. I kind of make, I make sure to make every shoot I do about um, the conversation and the bond between me and my subject. I try not to make it about taking the pictures at all. I try and make that the most relaxed step because there's nothing worse than feeling under pressure or you have to perform. I try and make it more about the conversation and relationship and the pictures are just like minor and part of you know part of us hanging out and I'll still talk to people as I take their picture because I don't want it to just you know that silence where everyone's looking at you like I'm not into that. Um, main source of income photography. Hello. Hello, here for Labyrinth. Yeah, sure, just downstairs on the right. Thank you. <laughs> Love the photography book. Birds, rainbows, cats. Black and white challenge. <laughs> yeah, and home, bruv. Starting out, I mean, I spent a good three two, three years like working for free, interning, um, just trying to learn and develop a portfolio. I think that's the most important thing you can do in like your early stages is experiment. I mean, I'd spend so much time like coming home after college, even school and like getting my friends to be in these pictures and trying to shoot slow motion popping in water balloons and all kinds of stuff, trying different colors, um, using flash, different shutter speeds. I think that's really important is to experiment and try everything out that kind of interests you to almost eliminate stuff that when you actually do it or you see the results you don't enjoy so much. 
I mean, that's how I really got into portraits was because I enjoyed making them and I enjoyed meeting new people and I enjoyed trying to make them different and trying to show who the person was. Um, it became quite like addictive for me. So yeah, I'd say experiment and then try and get find a sense of style, um, something that is recognisable as yours um, because you know that's priceless and that's going to carry you through as you change and grow and develop your style. That's going to be the starting point that you kind of go on from. So I'd say if you can master that, which is just through shooting basically, um, then it kind of leads into making a living. And I'd also suggest like hitting up your favourite magazines, your favourite musicians, your favourite brands. Um, and I did this a lot initially because it's one thing like, you know, wanting to be found, but there's so many people doing stuff. You can kind of get a bit lost in the lost in the crowd. So, you know, there's no, no harm in actually going directly to people. Explaining what you're doing, showing them your work, maybe putting an idea to them. Um, you know, as long as you're not harassing and sending emails, you know, every single day, the odd email won't hurt. And I would definitely say reach out to people that inspire you. Pretty sick road trip. <laughs> Man's got views. Cheers. Oh my god, you still trick in my head, you bitch! It's gonna friends, my big tan is gonna run and shit! Is that your favourite technique, yeah? I mean, I wouldn't say it's my favourite. One, two, three, go! Camera recommendations for those wanting to get into film. Um, I mean, I'd start with 35mm because it teaches you how to shoot pretty manually and medium format's a bit of a leap. Like, once you figure out 35mm, it's kind of a nice flow on. But I go for the Canon AE1 program or the Pentax K1000. Um, and then medium format wise, I, my first one was Mamiya 645 and it was amazing, loved it. Um, and it really taught me how to frame things. And then from that, I went on to the Mamiya RZ67. Wouldn't really want to shoot with any other camera, to be honest. When you're coming back to LA, hopefully as soon as possible, it is my favorite place, the light there. Um, okay, my fave lens is the 110mm 2.8mm lens. Round two. Round two, mate. Sample is not approved. Sa sample not approved. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Ooh. What is How that? Much? How much money? 90 quid. 90 God, quid. Mate. Look at that face. Hey, fucking <laughs> New Year is sorted. I actually never switch lenses. I mean, that was my setup maybe like three, four years ago. Um, and I didn't really have any other lenses, money to get anything else. So I learned to shoot everything I needed, whether it was wide, super close up, portrait, landscape with this camera and this lens. And now I'm kind of like, I understand it and I trust it. Do you print from drum scans or normal scans? I actually print and work with just my normal scans from my developers at Labyrinth Photographic, shout out. Um, because they're so sharp and really high standard anyway. Um, I've blown some of them up to sort of A0 size and they hold out absolutely fine. 
Um, but yeah, occasionally, like a job that I'm working on now, we've just had like five drum scans done, so we can, you know, really work on them and make them exactly how we want. How do you meter when shooting? So I meter at box speed, and I use one of these bad boys. It's a Conic Flashmate L308X. Um, I actually don't go anywhere about this because it is a lifesaver and helps you, yeah to get that accurate exposure. How hard did you find it when you first started asking random people for their portrait? So hard. That used to be my biggest fear. The first time I really had to experience this was helping my parents' friend who's a photographer on his project, Hackney A Tale of Two Cities. And it basically involved standing at a certain spot on Kingsland Road in London where he had his set up and we kind of just street scouting people and looking for people for him to shoot for this project. So he'd kind of spot someone and get me to run off down the road and convince them to have their picture taken. And at first I absolutely hated it. I was like, this is a setup. why am I here, what am I really learning? And then by the end of it, after you know hundreds of people over a few days, I like felt that I was more relaxed in myself and happier to ask people and just chilled out with it, like it wasn't such a big fear anymore. Um, I'm grateful for that because now it doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, it seems so scary, but it's actually such a big compliment asking someone to take their photo. And I mean, a lot of the time to make it easier, if you show pictures that you've already taken for that project or just pictures of yours in general and also offer to send them the image. I mean, people are into it and it doesn't really bother me anymore. It's still a challenge, but it's an exciting one rather than a terrifying one. I mean, fresh ideas, they cut, I mean, my best way of, I love like sitting on the bus or sitting on the train or listening to other people's conversations or watching interactions. Um, even just like sitting on the bus and watching how the light falls in certain places. I kind of like pin on the map nice locations I see as I go past on the train or the bus. Jeez! That film? Some days, baby. So I'm basically still figuring out how to put videos together for the YouTube world. Um, so this is my outro. I'm going to get better at this. Peace out.